I am not a lover of books, but I stumbled upon a poet performing as I ordered my daily coffee, was intrigued by storytelling on a boat, gave more traditional readings a chance. This weekend I was shown places that I never knew existed, and I gained a whole new understanding. My children enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, and their grandma too, dancing in a flash mob, judging a street slam poem, meeting a living book, hearing an author perform, watching a film powered by bicycles, innovation, beauty and fun on every street corner, Canterbury buzzing with such excitement, the beating heart of this beautiful city brimming with pride, nurturing a connection between people and the place they live. The atmosphere of the Edinburgh Fringe, it doesn't feel imposed. It happens in gardens, in ancient buildings and coffee shops, out on the streets from early morning to late at night. It feels like it breathes the same air, its heart beats in synchronicity. There's clearly a hunger for this sort of thing, inspired by and inspiring Canterbury. That rare thing of taking literature off the page, staging it, making it accessible. Enticing people to take a punt on something new, challenging those who might not normally attend to give it a go, and seasoned literary buffs to think in new ways. My first experience of poetry has been a good one. I thought books were hard work and poetry boring. Today it felt like a conversation about stuff that matters. It's like I've suddenly become fluent in a different language. A festival like no other, that's nothing short of spectacular. It may just go on to rock the literary world. Enjoying something as simple as stories, that's quietly revolutionary. If this festival is literature, then I've been missing out.